Hey there, horror movie tea sippers. The following podcast episode will contain spoilers for the movie we are about to review. If you have not seen the movie and do not wish to have anything ruined prematurely, please do not continue to watch or listen until you have seen the movie. And welcome to the Horror Movie Tea Podcast. Today, for the week of Thanksgiving, we are going to be covering Poultry Geist. And V is joining us one more time. And uh, But before we get into the summary, let's grab our cups and talk about tea. So I am boring and over-caffeinated. So I <laughs> am drinking the Zest Tea, the, the Earl Grey. And V? I am drinking the Zest Tea. It's like Somber Berry or something. Super Berry Samba. That one. Again? Yeah. <laughs> that one. Yes. I am drinking the Yogi Tea Ginger. So it's a herbal tea, but I needed a palate cleanser. Yes. So. And for our tea sippers out there, brew yourself a cup of tea, sit back, relax, and we hope we uh, hope you enjoyed the review. <laughs> So for the summary, I told you I'm over caffeinated. Yep, apparently. Uh, so for the um, summary, it's about this boyfriend and girlfriend that like are separated and then we're going to college and then so they're no longer together and the the ex girlfriend is now like a liberal lesbian. And he's, like, mad, and so he goes to work at this, like, movie version of KFC. And the KFC, quote, unquote, KFC, was built over a, a Native American burial ground. And it causes the chickens to come to life and start killing people. And, yeah, chaos ensues. So for entertainment, oh, you're in for a doozy, guys. So I will say, first, this movie was super, super gross. Like, there's a few times that, like, I actually kind of felt sick to my stomach. Yes. But it also had a lot of moments that really tickled me. So it was kind of hard to rate, so I would probably rate it a 6.5. It's definitely <laughs> like it's one of those movies that's like if I'm prepared to be grossed out, I'll get a kick out of it because it's like it's right up your alley. Yeah. yeah. Stupid funny. Yeah, of like cuz there's like a part where there's like projectile shit everywhere and I'm one that will enjoy a good <laughs> shit joke. <laughs> <laughs> literally and, and um but i will say it is one of those movies that's offensive for offensive sake and so that that was probably my least enjoyable part of it but it's like the movie was as you put it v it really was trying too hard like it's obviously a bad movie they're like let's exploit the crap out of this but literally. like <laughs> But but it's just like what gets me is all the projectile moments, whether it be shit, whether it be like this zombie goo, like every time those scenes would happen, I would just like lose it because it was just so funny. But um, yeah, it's like it's one of those movies that I'll probably watch when I'm in the mood to watch something super stupid. But it's not a good movie by any means, and it's definitely not for very many people. Um, so, yeah. I think I would probably rate this like a one or a two, oh, and that's being generous. And again, it's because it's trying too hard. I had seen this movie before a few years back, and... I remembered enjoying watching it, but in that kind of like, what the fuck am I watching kind of way. Um, 
which there's a lot of movies that I enjoy specifically for that sake of like, what did I just watch? But this one was, especially the beginning parts of it when they're establishing everything is it really is just, let's try to offend every single person that we possibly can. And to the extent where I'm not even going to quote or reference no. any of the jokes made. No. Um, Cause they really are specifically to be offensive. They're like racist. They're um, stereotyped. Stereotyped. They're, there's a lot of just really mean, nasty things said in a like, ha ha, it's funny kind of way. And I've just reached a point in my life where I don't find that funny anymore. Um, some of the more ridiculous stuff, like, uh, the blood splatter stuff that, that did get me, but I, I'm not a shit splatter kind of person. <laughs> no, the blood splatter got me too, Yeah, to be fair. Any kind of splatter for some reason just like really tickled me just how like over the top it was. Oh yeah. Like I, I love some over the top blood splatter, but like, I just, feces just makes me like, <laughs> like <laughs> definitely not my kink uh, but yeah and it, it really does try really hard and it it came out in 2006 which that is really the time frame where a lot of those movies came out because that was when yeah like the all of those movies by the guys that made um scary movie yes and they were branching out into everything else they were making like disaster movie they made epic movie epic movie they made that uh um, superhero movie yeah just all the movies and mm -hmm. all of them were just bad bad and like they were all worse than the original scary movie movie yeah because all of them were just trying really hard to be offensive and to make references to every possible movie and so this was like that, but making references instead to political things and to uh, restaurants. Like all the characters were named after restaurants, except mm -hmm. for one girl who was named Hummus. And that's all I'm going to say about that character, because everything else about her is a racist caricature. Yep. Yeah. I mean, even the name is a racist caricature. Stereotype yeah. on steroids. Yeah. So yeah, I would not rate this one highly. So I hated this movie, and I give it a zero. I think I've only ever given a zero once before, and that was to Arachnophobia. For obvious reasons. But I have a very, very, very low tolerance for stupid as I'm sure our viewers know. And I have to be in the mood for a stupid movie. And I thought that I had prepared myself for a stupid movie. I was not prepared for whatever the fuck that was. Guys, we didn't finish it. We only got about halfway through it. And we just could not anymore. It would have been a little bit better if they toned down just a little bit. Like, you can have some offensive things in there, but tone it down a bit. That was, that was way beyond the line. Way beyond the line. And yes, I know it's a really bad movie but it was a bit too much on like the splatter and kind of stuff like the effects were sadly they were probably the best part of the movie but well, <laughs> they weren't tea. great yeah they they weren't great and i get that a lot of Really crappy, scary movies also focus on sex and all a lot, but that was just, that was also a bit much. And it was just, like, a little too raunchy for my taste as well. It just... 
It was really ridiculous. It's like it's a offensive for offensiveness sake and sexual for sexual yes. sake. It's a movie like whenever someone may have asked, should we do this or why are we doing this? It, the answer was because we can. And they they didn't stop to think if they really should. So I did not enjoy this movie at all. I laughed a little bit when they started the musical numbers, but after like the fifth one. Yeah, they got ridiculous. Yeah, a little. <laughs> I after it started like the fifth one, I, I just sat there like for fuck's sake, really. And and even the musical numbers were like completely Horrible. Horrible and, and kind of non sequitur. Yeah. yeah. There wasn't a lot of purpose to them. And that's not... Like, the whole purpose of a musical is there's a point to the song. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, so I retract my previous rating, and I will bring it down to a five. Because it's like, I will say... That was a point and a half. Yeah, because I did originally a 6.5. But, yeah, yeah, now that I'm, like, hearing your perspective, I'm like, yeah, it's like... There were some movie points in the movie that I did find really funny, like it really tickled me, but I would say the other half of it, though, I was really either uncomfortable or I felt sick to my stomach, either because it was so offensive or it was just like gross. Like whenever they're grinding up the chicken, I mean, I, I'm really not that much of a meat person anyways so it's like meat easily grosses me out but that i could not look at it it just it was too much that was sadly one of the more realistic parts of the movie yeah well the (laughs) the crazy part about it is underneath all of the forced satire that was going on in it they actually were making some points with some of it. Yeah. About, like, the industry and how it was, like, taking advantage of people and all that stuff. Yeah. But even the protesters who are making these points are using extremely offensive language and extremely offensive references and ways to go about things. Yeah, yeah like, it'd be different if... Well, I guess like the the example with the the I guess the girlfriend of his ex girlfriend when she is like, oh, even Native Americans are against this, and then they find like the one Native American, they kind of like force their agenda on him. It's like mm-hmm. that. I felt like that was fairly decent commentary because I feel like that that does happen sometimes, oh, yeah. um, or if not a lot of the time. But yeah, like. Um, like, as as someone who, I wouldn't go so far as to say I'm vegan, but I'm trying my best to be vegan. It, it's, <laughs> it's hard, but I'm reducing my meat con- and dairy consumption as much as possible. And so as someone who, like, feels like the animal industry is sickening and then has, have a film show vegans eat chicken and be like, oh, my God, it's so good. And then they, like, immediately, like, I felt, I mean, of course, they're offensive to everybody. So it's like they're even offensive that way. It, but it's like it kind of at that point is character breaking because mm-hmm. then you have the characters not acting faithfully to their original values. Um, so I, it's like I don't really understand the point of that scene. It's like I can understand if they're like, oh, they were they weren't really liberal or they weren't really vegan to begin with. So we're going to have them switch. It's like I can understand that. But if that was their point, I didn't really feel like they conveyed it very well. I think that it was supposed to be she was being taken over or possessed by what all was going on there. I, but it was difficult to tell, and that's about the point that we had stopped it anyway. Yeah, and from from what I vaguely remember from the last time that I did watch this movie all the way through, like not only do they have like these dead chickens that come to life and do stuff but they i want to say they also have like chicken zombies where there's like body horror of people turning into zombie chickens and stuff like that so i think that's kind of what they were leading up to for that part of it but 
I, we were all burnt out from the movie by that point. It's a lot. Like, they shove a lot in that. And they made the movie way too long. Like, we when were, we paused it, yeah, we were we only were, halfway through. But it was already an hour in. Yeah. And we're like, oh. Yeah. I feel, yeah, this was probably the first movie that we couldn't finish because it was, it was so bad. Yeah. There, we have never actually just stopped the movie. If we have, we picked a different movie. Yeah. And it was usually only after a few minutes. Yeah. So this was the first time that we legit stopped the movie halfway through and still did an episode. <laughs> yeah. We were not prepared. It, yeah. Like, if you like super offensive stuff, and you have a strong stomach, then you will probably enjoy this movie. But that's like a very big if because it's just so all it's over very the place. Niche kind of movie. It, uh, it's just bad. It really does just feel like the like a, a mid two thousands edgy like. Oh, I'm a aff I'm offensive, and that makes me edgy, and I'm gonna be topically political in an offensive way, um, because a lot of the stuff that they there's a lot of stuff in there that they do like talk about that's offensive that is very 2006. Yeah. Um, because they still have like the. Like, the 9-11 references yes. were still being talked about A years lot. later. So, there were so many. Yeah. So many references to that. Yeah. It was painful to but watch. It was, like, it's part porno, part musical, and it's all shit. And slapstick. It's yes. like slapstick, yeah. porno, musical, horror. <laughs> and it's all horrible shit. There's zero substance to any of it. No. What little substance they could have had with some of the good points that they were making is completely overshadowed by how awful the rest of the movie is. And they rant on those somewhat decent points to the point where you're not even paying attention to what they're saying. Yeah. Yeah, so, you lose the point of it. Yes. Yeah. Because they're not succinct with their, their wording either. They're super long-winded. And I think part of that is supposed to be parodying it is. itself. Like, but they did a bad job of it. Yeah. I'm definitely not defending oh, this no, movie. <laughs> no, there is nothing that can be defended in this movie. You cannot change my mind. <laughs> Don't yeah. try, guys. It won't happen. Oh, yeah. Shall we attempt to do the realism? To do the realism scale? Yeah, I'm I'm doing a zero on my I don't think yeah. I've ever rated a movie a zero before. I think I might have Just done like one. the blood splatters, the the blatant comments that like all of the characters would make. It's like yes, some people in real life will make comments like that, but the fact that all of them and just oh there's just oh so much. The, the, I don't think there's a single thing that re was realistic, aside the fact that you know, obviously, like the the quote unquote KFC reference was an exaggeration and stuff. It's like it's like yes, we have like industry corporate industries like that, but it's not like people are getting chewed up and then they're like, oh, we're still going to serve that. It's just yeah. Anyways. It's really hard to rate this movie because it's like, you know, it's a zero, but there's such a long list that you can't be like, it's because of this and this and this. And it's like, no, it's everything. Just, yeah. everything. It's just everything. You look at it and it's, yeah. Yeah. Are we all going to rate it a zero? Oh, yes. 
Yeah, and it it's very much that it's not it is not even trying to pretend to be realistic. So I'll at least give it that. Is it's not trying to be like, oh, this is no, it's it's meant to be like scary movie levels of bad satire. Even scary movie is better. It is. I love scary movie. Like my least favorite is scary movie two, but like scary movie three, four, like <laughs> they're they're not the greatest, but I can at least tolerate those. Those are okay. They're still definitely not my type of movie, but I would watch those. This was just awful. <laughs> All round. Yeah, like, for me, the only thing that's carrying it as far as it was was, like, I could appreciate how ridiculous it was and then some of the effects, but everything else was not enjoyable. I don't know. Like, this brain... Uh, th this brain. <laughs> this, this movie just, like, jumbled my brain because it's, like, there'll be... It, it's, like, while I was watching it the entire time... It went from pure joy to complete disgust and then just kept flipping back and forth. I'm just like, I don't know how I feel about this. Pretty sure I just stayed in disgust the entire time. Because <laughs> it's like there were some parts I'm like, okay, if I was going to make a stupid horror movie, I would totally do that. But it just... <sighs> but just... Ah! To, to kind of compare it to give it more context of like why this one is so bad for being absolutely ridiculous to compare it to another stupid movie that we've all watched of like willie's wonderland that one is also not very realistic but at least that one was funny but it was funny and it's <laughs> in because, its focused yes, yes it wasn't all over the place it had a very like like purposeful plot it had a plot <laughs> Um, it did have some stereotypes, but they didn't go crazy with them. Yeah. They were definitely there, but they weren't just in outer space levels of over yeah. the top. And they weren't completely and utterly offensive. No. Yeah. It, like, that movie's purpose was not to offend everybody, whereas this movie's purpose is to offend people. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like all of us at one point found something, if not like all of the scenes that we were like, oh, that's even offensive and that's not even about like me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I even gave arachnophobia some realism because I, I don't think I've ever given a movie zeros on both counts. Yeah, this movie is difficult because it's like, on the one hand, it's very hard for a movie to make me laugh as much as this one did. But then on the other hand, it's very hard for a movie to make me feel like this disgusted and sick to my stomach. So this is a very hot and cold movie for at least me. I know it's probably super cold yes. for you, Megumi <laughs> or Jess. I, but, I just uh, I just wanted it to be over. And then it wasn't. So you want to know the really sad thing? Mm -hmm. This movie didn't even disgust me. It was it was mostly the bathroom scene. Even that, that part. Disgusted me. Even that part, that I was like, the, eh. the voyeur dude. Even that part, I was like, eh. But again, I'm super desensitized to a lot of things. <laughs> this is fine. Yeah, I you've seen some stuff that you. we <laughs> haven't seen. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we just have all the concerns for you. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm You're fine. not fine. I'm fine. He's not fine. I'm fine. But, uh, well, is there anything else we want to say on the realism part? No. So, in summary, and you can jump on me if uh, there's anything else you want to add, but essentially, if you watch this movie, prepare to be offended, prepare to probably be grossed out, and just be freaking baffled at this movie. It's bad. 
And don't eat beforehand because we no. did that and that was a poor choice. That was a very poor choice. Yeah, I almost I almost lost my lunch several times. I was eating a Snickers during it. <laughs> I was I'm eating so a sorry. I was eating a Snickers during the explosive shit scene. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I am I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> See that part, like I don't know why, but like the fact that they continued the bathroom always, noises. It's because like, you've well, always loved potty humor. That is one of your biggest things. It's one of my biggest always, character flaws. Always, <laughs> she has always loved potty humor in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> it's never really been my thing, but I can tolerate some of it. That was just gross. <laughs> We don't need the, to the see it. The bathroom one really got me. <laughs> like, we don't need to see it at all. Honestly, like, what made me laugh during that scene was you laughing at it. So. <laughs> she got super tickled. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she was dying. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I'm just sitting there in disgust, and she's over here dying on the couch. And I'm laughing at her laughing yeah. at because well, it made me think of the freaking um, Human Centipede two, which that which like is also an awful movie. Like, there's a part in that movie. I saw the first one. I refused to see the second. The one. second they just like go all ham. Like there's a part where he like purposely injects them with laxatives, and so they're all shitting into each other's mouth. But there's like. But, but it's so forceful that it starts like going through their hole, so you see like shit like flying everywhere, and I fucking died. It was so stupid. And <laughs> so we definitely don't need to see that one. Either. Um, yeah, I don't know why bathroom humor tickles me so much. It's like I grew oh, up with either. it. Like my dad really likes bathroom humor, so I don't know if that's just like because of him. But yeah, it tickles me for some reason. Even though it's gross. Like, I, I think it's, the bathroom humor is gross, but for some reason also makes me laugh. All right. Yeah. Whatever tickles your pickle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. So, yep. Well, if you guys saw the movie, uh, I hope you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> there are, uh, if you, there are a lot of therapy resources. <laughs> Our sincere condolences. <laughs> yeah. Um, and if you'd like to keep up to date with our content, you can find us on Twitter, Instagram, and most places that you listen to podcasts. If you'd also like to support our podcast, please like and share our content. Please, please. warn others not Make this to watch worth it. this as well. <laughs> Make this worth it. <laughs> And if you'd like to support us monetarily, we do have a Teespring available. All of the links will be mentioned down below. And until the next time, guys, please stay safe. Please, please stay safe from this movie. And stay spooky. Specifically from this movie. Bye. Bye. Bye.